I will give you 20 tips that happened in the Pro League last season that you must use in this season. 10 tips will be for defenders and 10 tips for attackers. Let's start, shall we? We need to open up this seed with a spawn pick that is one way. As you can see, I can see relatively clearly the attacker going left to the right because the branches of the trees are not being rendered for me. However, when we switch sides, trees will render and you cannot spot the defender. This is one of the no risk, high reward spawn peaks. Because they still, yeah. they got a team kill. That's what Shaiko was awarded with when he did that jump out there. Because he did get a team kill. Now they're going to look for something aggression on this. We will jump now immediately to the 300 IQ frag grenade spot. Even if this frag grenade spot won't kill any defender in the pro league clip, there's a bunch of times when there will be someone in this corner. This wreck spot will ignore any of my disc or Jaeger's ADSs and is extremely useful to clear out the default spot. Anyone behind the deployable shield. Talisman players and passion teams, BDS live and breathe at that mentality. You throw anything slightly off the beaten track and things can go wrong. A nice idea! with that grenade and the capital flame. Now, we will see a very underrated angle on the villa that you can do on any room clear setup. Thanks to Team Empire, you will be able to cut off any rotation between the first floor. This means if you are clearing first floor towards the main stair side, no defender will be able to flank you without passing through your line of sight. Instead of the Goyo, we'll deny some drones, we'll keep playing that Vigil, which has been in all but one round so far for Na'Vi. And see if- If you're about to be pushed in the Condolate's toilet, you can trick your enemies that you drop down, as it'll be heard when you get in this corner, and they will think that you drop down. You can move all the way to the right side, and you most likely won't be drowned out, as they will assume you retreated maybe a surprise frag here on anyone who might try and enter. Nello is slow and steady clearing. They have the impression someone is close. They pre-fire towards the angle. They will fully know someone's there. Nello caught out by a C4. Definitely, a deployable shield that has to be put in the video is a shield that cannot be vaulted over but only destroyed, such as in the bank. This forces attackers to use utility onto it. And in ranked, you are most likely forcing Asher or Zofia to rotate all the way to the Seavers to destroy it, which is very unlikely, because they will usually spawn by the LA. We can talk about the shield placement. Now let's talk about how to destroy the probable shields and not even thinking about how to waste ADSs or magnets. Zofia, Ash, or Kali can from the outside window get the deployable shield in the freezer. This way, you're countering ADSs and magnets pretty easily. Have you thought of discussing new ideas, watching Pro League the voice chat, and much more in my Discord community? Link is in the description. I have never seen using anyone this barricade tactic yet, but you can on many places make a barricade a one way line of sight if you destroy the bottom part of it. Anyone coming through the brown stairs in the cafe won't be able to see in the closet, but you will have easy time seeing them. Comes down to Shiko and stopping them from getting this northern control. Shiro shuts down Kanto Raketti and a big, big double for BDS coming in in the form of Shiko and Breedy. I know that there are many Maverick mains watching this. No cap. But you can avoid getting headshot when making the bottom line by a neat trick of not proning. Mind blowing, right? Crouch and you can very consistently open up the reinforcement with just your feet being exposed. This is extremely good for the old solo queue maverick mains that try to open up the wall. Still having the man advantage. Well, sub minute now for Dark Zero with this very interesting operator lineup. Bringing two ops we don't see too often, specifically the Blitz that we definitely don't see a lot of, but... You can find a beautiful long angle across the whole map of the coastline, from the hookah to the top of the lobby. I don't think you will find a longer angle on the coastline. 
This angle is extremely useful as there are too many times that attackers are rotating there just for free. There we go. He'll have a lot of long lines of sight um, and that will and they've opened up a lot of holes here for them to do it. Look at that luggage line of sight. That's a brilliant yeah, beautiful. one. Beautiful. That's what a lot of attack is actually. There is a beautiful way to get rid of anyone playing behind the wooden desks. Like on the consulate from the outside of the lobby. This also works for the other desk like Astronomy. These explosives are also extremely useful as you are literally denying a power spot from the defenders and your Ash Charge or Zofia cannot even be stopped from the ADSs or magnets. And then G2 will have to make a guess. Am I going to be using one of the Zofia impacts or breaching rounds to uh, deny that table? Oh, yes, they do. Okay, never mind. I was going to make a hyper. Have you ever thought of denying hard breaches on the cafe's freezer wall from below? Do I really have to mention how powerful this technique is? As even with the piano control, attackers won't be able to open up the wall. Opponents up close, but they haven't accounted for the roam downstairs. And that is going to be a serious upset when it comes. Oh no. Okay, interesting. C4 use. For all the supporters, you need to know all the juicy drone spots across all the maps. I will help you when you are taking cooking and service on cafe with a powerful drone spot in the tea. Into that playstyle. Steady destruction still goes on for the vertical control, and now they're going to look to see if they can apply some flat pressure. They're going to try Such and. a good drone. Yeah, it's a really, really great angle there, and that is the man I was about to say. This is also for all three plus tech people that watch me. Join this triple Q strat against the bunker push for 100% win rate. Hang a freeway crossfire as well as clash is everyone's nightmare. What is even better is you can really easily rotate clash to the freezer or lobby if these pushes are happening. Put across. Well, I was gonna say maybe they would have to be aware of magnets that are around there that would prevent the Sophia from being able to hit onto the clash, but in fact it didn't look like that was so much of a problem. And Rafal's not another powerful angle but never doing a roam hunt on coastline can be found from the outside's blue window. This paired up with having lobby doors open means that no stairs can be used for the rotation. This also means that whatever is on the first floor stays on the first floor, aside from the Oryx. Potential. Last round right here, oh, especially right. with a kill like that. Too easy. Oh, Let's have the most lone mechanic in the siege, bullet holes. These bullet holes are located by the pings bar wall, and you can see anyone coming from the jungle. Since these are bullet holes, you're pretty much safe of not being pre-fired. What you're waiting as a defender is a pixel change and just do your trick. Outside of the office, but I'm gonna hold the close angle just over behind the bookshelf in the middle of the room before eventually falling back to the rest of his teammates, which are also holding aggressively on the inside of security. We'll be using Monty to push out anyone in the bunker. All what you need to have for this push is someone watching the pillars of the blue doors and Monty himself pushing the blue L defenders. I don't think it can be any easier. Admittedly, maybe not on the primary entry roll, and it's always an ideal target to bring down, given he has frags and the destruction ability from above. Here on this site, not really a thing that, that the Sludge can do. I think it's much more about the grenades. Pengu doing what Pengu does best and doing the tango, dancing around with the maestro, not quite winning it out yet, tries to go for the down and will find it. Two kills, by the way, of G2 in a commanding position. We'll be killing a taker that just went out of spawn. The good thing about this spawn killing is that you're deciding when do you enter in a gunfight. Whereas on any other spawn peak, you could be pre-fired due to you standing still and waiting for the attackers. The concern here for me is that Talon already won Kitchen Dining. Uh, and oh, what's this? Aggressive Pele? Oh, <laughs> what is that for BMW? That's the Zafia. A very powerful angle that you can use on the consulate to isolate admin and that area from defenders. No one will come in or out when you get on that spot and when you destroy the so part. This is a pretty much useful on any attack on the consulate, as most of your attacks will start from the admin. Upstairs trying to cause some trouble. It was Bree Day inside a piano last time round. In fact, there's a couple of them playing upstairs, just trying to catch these early entrants from the side of G2, who it looks like are focusing on the top floor. I'll let him almost getting his head. We'll have the test, but not any worse for defenders of the consulate as well. 
this will be pretty straightforward one, as you will be able to see the entrance of the meeting for the console. This is extremely useful for the late game. Would you like 20 bullet hole locations? Let me know down in the comment section. Does mean that meeting is now empty. Great, they've managed to achieve the thing that they failed to do so, so far. Now they have to be aware, of course, that light is holding this okay. angle oh. here and yeah, yeah. Last, but not at least, a claimer spot to use, similar to the welcome mat. Putting a claimer where lasers can be visible from a taker's perspective, versus them being put a little back so they cannot see them. We apply similar logic to the welcome mat, right? As you can see, these tips were put in the previous videos, but I have chosen the top 20 ones that it's very important to know in this season. Well, and this is what is making it difficult. This is why we said there's in the early rounds that the adaptation was... Thank you for watching this video and staying with me for this long. And thanks all the patrons and YouTube members for making this video available. If you want to learn all the basics and advanced things about the siege, Make sure to give me a like, subscribe and click notification bell to get all notifications from my channel. Make sure to give me feedback down in the comment section below.